watched him for six years. Bill Bowen, I don't agree with his politics, but he has done a very good job presiding over the Senate. And then, you know, as, as we said, a couple other things, the, the lieutenant governor also, you know, I, every morning I plan to just put a little mirror under the governor's nose and make sure he's... <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have a doctor in the house. <laughs> passionate about uh, we'll do in the off season. I mean, for me, with my background in health care, certainly work with the Secretary of Health uh, to, to work on things to make sure that we posture Virginia uh, in a good position so that all Virginians can have access to quality health care. Work with the Secretary of Education on education matters. You know, I talked about the gun violence issue. So there are a lot of projects that, you know, we can be involved in uh, when we're not in session. But, but anyway, that, that's a good question you're asking. That's, I hope that that's I mean, that's what I read last night. So that's, that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. By the way, can I just say, we have a lot of fun together. That was the funniest I've seen you. Uh, 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 well, you got three more. <laughs> He's good to go. Holiday Express. Okay. So, uh, uh, okay. Let me uh, just, let me amplify a little bit uh, of, of where Ralph was. So, the, the tie-breaking vote in the Senate is unique in this moment in Virginia history, which is that other senators are not up for re-election, so we literally will have that vote and that authority uh, coming in uh, on, uh, on January of 2014. But let me just make a personal observation. In the Kane administration, uh, Governor Kane appointed me to the Council on Virginia's Future. He had two cabinet picks, myself and Jody Wagner, who was his Secretary of Finance. And that's the body that had been charged with making sure that Virginia moves forward as a best managed state. Governor Kane really uh, turned to the council to make sure that we had a long-term roadmap, essentially a bi traditionally a bipartisan roadmap on making Virginia work better. And as Lieutenant Governor, I am by law a member of that council. So essentially, I'd go back to the role that I had as a member of the board on that council. Now what did I do when I was on the council the first time? Uh, I chaired the Effectiveness and Efficiency Committee, and I sparked what's called the Productivity Investment Fund. Governor Kane allowed us to invest $3 million on the most promising ideas. Some called it like government venture capital. We, we invested $100,000 to reinvest, uh, to redesign the GED program in Southwest Virginia. And Governor McDonald liked the results so much, he took it statewide. We spent a little over $100,000 to reduce preterm birth rates in the Shenandoah Valley by doing a telemedicine pilot with UVA. Governor McDonald liked that so much, he signed into law a telemedicine initiative for the entire state. Uh, we made investments in uh, new skills for kids, as uh, Ralph mentioned, uh, about uh, skills for not just uh, four-year degrees, but those who want to get credentials in the economy. Uh, Prince uh, William uh, Schools, Chuck Drake, a teacher, had an idea. Could we teach kids to refurbish computers and then give the refurbished computers to families that are on free and reduced lunch? We put $100,000 behind that program, and Governor McDonald liked it so much he added a half a million dollars to take that statewide, or $400,000. So that productivity fund has been endorsed by Governor McDonald. It still exists, and it has a, a, a cycle of making Virginia better by giving us the chance to try new ideas. It's got over 40 initiatives that it's funded since its launch. As Lieutenant Governor, I'll go right back to that body and ensure that we use that vehicle to, uh, to invest smartly in new concepts. And that, by the way, isn't limited just to state investments. We could better organize applications to all these federal grants that we've missed over the last several years. And I, the Lieutenant Governor can be a very helpful voice in making sure that we have a best proposal going in to bring those ideas out.